Hello everyone. I keep showing you all these pictures of all these videos and pictures and whatnot of all these peppers that we pick. And you gotta wonder what in the world does he do with them all? Well, we cut them up and an awful lot of them we freeze. Now, I'll probably do this spastic since I'm trying to look cute doing this on, on camera, but basically, start easy with a bell pepper. We cut them up, and if you kind of cut the edges, you can bypass most of the seed cavity, and you don't waste much of the pepper. And I kind of quarter it. And you can get most of the pepper without the seeds and stuff. And then just give them a slice. And I have to use this one plate here because about the time it gets to be pretty full, that's roughly what fits into a two quart Ziploc. Um, but you know, make no mistake about it, cutting peppers takes some time. But you can get pretty good at it. And before too long, you'll learn you don't really care if a couple of seeds make the trip. Now, these guys are particularly challenging to cut, but they're very, very sweet. But they do have a jillion seeds. But they are really, really sweet. These are some kind of little day till, so they're really nice if you just cook them up. These are little bananas. My uh, wife does these using a, a great old big knife, but a million years ago I worked in some restaurants and I always was using this little tiny little white knife. And it's still what I feel most comfortable using. And if we're lucky, there won't be any blood. Bell peppers are particularly nice for doing this way because they will really cut out nicely for you. I don't know how I missed that little spot, but we'll cut it out. Then you just cut them in half. This little white guy here is a, I did a two kinds of paprika peppers. This is a small one. But what is really neat about this little guy is you can see the, the skin is very, very thick. And for such a tiny little pepper, it's very easy to cut it. And you get a lot of pepper for that little tiny thing. So, we probably picked enough of these peppers this morning to do maybe 10 bags two core bags. I hope so. The way we eat peppers. My idea of a really nice breakfast is about this many peppers. As we have here, a little olive oil, salt, and pepper. Cook them in a pan, add two eggs. That's about as good a breakfast as you can get. But if you're buying peppers, and it'd be even regular peppers, at their very, very best are 50 cents a piece. Organic ones will be $2 a pound. Makes a pretty expensive breakfast. But if you're growing your own, you need all the peppers you want. Want more peppers? Just plant more peppers. And there we go. So this is a two quart Ziploc, gets a big P for pepper and today's date 726. In goes the peppers, if you like peppers pieces smaller than that, make them smaller, do them whatever however you like. 
You like pretty chunky pieces of pepper in most things, and it's always easier. I mean, it's always, you can always thaw them out and cut them, chop them up some more if you need to, but it's really tough to glue them back together. Let's see, we can fit some more in that bag, but that's kind of how that goes. So, even the, uh, see if I can find a little jalapeno and show you how to do them. So that's how this whole program goes. So rather than bore you with watching this same motion, we'll just stop here. But that's how you can go ahead and process out the peppers, get them ready for the freezer, and go through them at a pretty good clip. Thank you for watching.